Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. First, I would like to extend my best wishes to all our Local 25 scholarship recipients. Since my last report, negotiation updates, Greater Lawrence Sanitary District. During the past month, we have met three times via conference call. We have reached some tentative agreements. The district plans to bring recommendations to their board of directors on May 27th, and we will meet again on June 2nd. Concord Highway and Grounds Division. We conducted our first virtual meeting on May 13th with the new administration. The union presented a comprehensive proposal package at that time. We will firm up our next meeting scheduled for early June. Other issues, Melville School Administrators. We have finalized the PEC agreement for health insurance coverage for all active and retired union employees. Brookline Public Safety Dispatches. We were able to successfully get the attention of the town right before the outbreak of the coronavirus. There were significant staffing shortages in the dispatch center. We addressed board members of finance, personnel, public safety, and we pushed for funding in the hiring of more dispatches. I can report back to you today that three dispatches have now been hired. City of Chelsea DPW, we will be meeting with city manager next week to discuss impact to our essential workers, as well as the anticipated July 1 transition, which will bring all water and sewer functions under this unit. Air Canada, promising news, some furloughed customer service and operation agents have been recalled. Return to work date, May 21st for training, and May 25th, flights on a small scale will begin. The cargo division has kept extremely busy during this time. In closing, once again, thank you to all our frontline workers, brothers and sisters. You are doing an outstanding job, and we will be forever grateful for all your unselfish acts. Thank you very much, Joan Corey, business agent.